New Trump DLC unlocked today, so we're going to check it out. We love our Trump DLC around here. Okay. New Trump DLC unlocked. Today, Donald J. Trump, Donald John Trump, he posted on Truth Social. He posted in all caps to let you know that he is upset. Does it have new skins? Yeah, maybe one where he's wearing an orange jumpsuit. I'm just joking. He'll never see the inside of a prison. Um, Here's what he posted on Truth Social today. How can DOJ possibly charge me? Wait, hold on. Let me do this in his voice. How can the DOJ possibly charge me who did nothing wrong? When no other presidents were charged? When, Joe, when Sleepy Joe won't be charged for anything, including the fact that he has 1,850 boxes, much of it classified, a dating back to his Senate day when even Democrat senators are shocked. Also, President Clinton had documents and won in court. Cricket Hillary deleted 33,000 emails, many classified, and it wasn't even close to being charged. Only Trump, the greatest witch hunt of all time. <laughs> I did not see the the, the uh, documentary um, that Elon promoted, by the way, Patrick. I did not. Uh, so he is talking about how upset he is that the G DOJ is looking into him right now. Now, he's been talking about how upset he is for a while and how he's done nothing wrong. But he's never, to this extent, been like outwardly upset about it. And many people are speculating. The reason why he is outwardly upset about it now is that the Department of Justice, who is investigating him about the classified documents, their investigation is coming to an end, and they have made a decision on whether or not they want to pursue this with him further. Um, we have a video here. Hold on. Hold on. Donald Trump's lawyers met with DOJ officials for just under two hours, his legal team and the Justice Department not saying much, unlike the former president. Fox News' Teresa Priolo joins us from the newsroom with what he's saying on social media. Teresa? Natasha? And so yeah, Trump's legal team went to go meet with the Department of Justice today. They have not said what it was about, but they did meet. Save the former president using the phrase he made famous a few years back, calling the DOJ investigation the greatest witch hunt of all time. That's so now, funny. It's be seen if charges are pending and how soon things have reached a point where Trump's own attorneys believe a sit down is necessary. Did you get a meeting with the attorney general? We don't have any comment. The lawyers representing Donald Trump in the investigation surrounding classified documents at Mar-a-Lago may have been tight-lipped Monday while leaving the Justice Department, but the former president was not. On Truth Social, he referenced boxes of classified information. Boxes of classified the documents. The greatest witch hunt of all time. Quote, how can the DOJ possibly charge me who did nothing wrong when no other presidents were charged, when Joe Biden won't be charged for anything? <laughs> the meeting comes two weeks after Trump's lawyers requested a sit down with Attorney General Merrick Garland to raise concerns about what they say is prosecutorial misconduct and an overreach by the team led by special counsel Jack Smith. Ankush Kadori is a former federal prosecutor who has conducted these very types of meetings. He says these kinds of meetings are not uncommon and it could signal the investigation is winding down. It tells us potentially that his own lawyers are worried um, that an indictment is, is potentially in the works. But can it change what happens next? Okay. Sometimes the uh, defense lawyers can prevail on the department to stand down. That's rare. It is rare, but it does happen. Um, equally, Justice Department prosecutors um, don't mind taking these meetings. The reason is that they get a little bit of a preview, potentially, of the potential defenses. And in some situations, they can then go back and uh, compl you know, c c complete investigative steps to fill in gaps. It was August of last year when FBI agents raided Mar-a-Lago. Inside, they found dozens of folders marked classified and information of a sensitive nature. The documents taken after Trump left the White House in... Zoom in. Enhance. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on. I'm currently reading the documents. 
I know what's in Area 51. January 2021. <clears throat> Since then, reports have surfaced that former Vice President Mike Pence also kept oh my classified... God. He looks like a little boy that would wear, like, like he looks like an old man, but simultaneously like a little boy that has, like, a little spinny hat on. You know what I'm talking about? Like a propeller hat? I don't know how he does it. Material at his home. And President Joe Biden had documents dating back to his time in the Senate. The Biden investigation continues, separate from the Trump probe. Now, besides the Mar-a-Lago investigation, Jack Smith is leading a separate probe into efforts by Trump and his allies to undo the results of the 2020 presidential election. Natasha. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that that one is also happening. That investigation is also happening. So <clears throat> this could be winding down uh, the. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ugh. The investigation could be uh, winding down. Let's see what this Andrew Weissman, says. you've just um, issued a tantalizing and newsworthy tweet in your own right um, with your credentials, with your relationships and your expertise. I'm going to read it to our viewers. Quote, a zillion stories about Trump case, but bottom line is that he's getting charged and it will be in D.C. and this week. Open issues are whether others oh, shit. Be charged and whether they will be in D.C. or Florida. Please explain. She's is she mad about that or what's going on? I'm not, <laughs> I am I weird by or, or am I wrong by thinking that was weird? Please explain. Usually people are like, "Oh, can you tell me what exactly you mean by that or uh what tells you that this is true or something like that?" Please explain. Sure. Well, first it is really typical to see what we are seeing in terms of Donald Trump's counsel going to the Department of Justice. We saw the same thing when we were looking at the Manhattan DA's office. That is that prosecutors in cases like this, um, where there's no need to nab the defendant because they're in the middle of committing a crime of, or a violent crime where they're fleeing, they give defense counsel an opportunity to be heard. Um, and to make any and all legal, factual, discretionary arguments as to why there should not be charges. Um, and so here, especially if the reporting is about the attorney-client privilege, I mean, that's just never going to stop, uh, you know, anybody from, you know, finding that the charges are appropriate because here a judge has approved what it is that happened here. Um, and I should point out the current Solicitor General of the United States worked on the Mueller investigation where the exact same thing was done in front of the exact same judge. So I just think that's going to be a loser. It may be something they're arguing uh, in order to make a political point later. Um, okay. And so we really are seeing what I always view as the harbinger of, uh, you know, cases. Yeah, I'm not watching 10 minutes of this guy's bad Internet connection. Anyways, what he's saying is um, this is very much an indication that they are looking to indict, that they will be winding down their investigation soon and preparing to uh, to uh, release charges. Um, he says charge this week. We'll see. I'll keep everybody update if, updated if that does happen. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be that fast or not. I have no idea. I'm not an expert on this. But, I mean... It will be funny. It will be good content, but it's also important to know that uh, it doesn't mean uh, anything, basically, uh, because the way the court system works, it's very slow, and there are no legal reasons why that would. There are no legal reasons why that would deter him from running for president. Also, a lot of people are like, "Well, what, how will it affect his uh, candidacy, candidacy for presidency?" It won't. Uh, the, you, it doesn't matter if you're under investigation for something. There are only, there are three requirements, um, for you to run for president. Only three. And I, and I know, and I know this fresh because I looked it up today because I'm like, is there anything, is there any weird we reasons? And I was surprised to see that there are only three. You have to be born in the United States over 35 and you have to have lived in the U S for the last 14 years. That's it. So that's not going to stop him from running for president um, or, or anything. And because the, the court systems are so slow, um, I doubt that he'll even ha be, you know, mucked up by having court and shit while he's trying to run.